Happy holidays, people. Um, don't mind the hair. I just got out of a movie. Um, so, I've been kind of wanting to touch base on a topic we've been talking about for the past 15 years. And that is, if you want people to not share art that doesn't belong to them, then don't post on the internet. Secondly, put a watermark. Third, if you really think that the person that is buying the art from you is going to steal it, make a contract, make something. Hell, don't even sell to the person if you think it's that sketchy. And then, especially if you sell about it, don't bitch about it later that you didn't write a contract and that he's posting it on his Facebook wall or for affinity account and you're so livid like it's a midlife crisis. Um, I can understand the like ramifications for that. Um, there's a few stories of people, furries actually, getting their art stolen and put on clothing items at Kohl's. Um, if that happens, then seek a lawyer, because you'll win. If Joe Bob over here uh, wants to post his furry picture online, let him. It's more credit to you as the artist. If he did pay for it, then why are you bitching? You got your money's worth, you got his idea, and you worked with it. I mean, I worked as an IT tech, and, you know, I, I don't constantly you know, yell at somebody that, you know, they're working on my computer that I built or, you know, giving away to somebody. Yes, it's aggravating when that happens, but it's stupid at the same time. Um, another thing to worry about is that if I'm a cosplayer and I dress up and you take a picture, well, I can share that picture if I, if I want to because I went into the work of making up this character for you to paint a picture of um, or take a picture of and it, I'm basically being told that it doesn't matter anymore that you know the person who pressed the button or the person that you know drew it out is the real artist here and not the commissioner um, unfortunately you guys don't really know how art works art works by inspiration now, you as an artist, uh, if you're not inspired by your client to actually like agree with them that you're both going into this artistic project together and coming out with a finished project to pretty much be shared not only between you two, but with the rest of the world, then you're not ready to be an artist. And you should really just put your pen down, close Facebook, close your book, and just go outside and realize that all that you see would not be possible without the sheer collaboration of people. So whether it be your wolf icon that inspires somebody to build a wolf sanctuary, well, you got to realize that everything that you do in this world and everything that you share has great impacts. And I'm all for sharing art. I'm all for sharing uncensored art. Uh, and unaccredited art because art is art and if you were the real artist you'd either incorporate your name into the art itself or you'd embrace that people are really liking your art and pushing it out there but you gotta realize when somebody credits you for the art that you did you should also credit the commissioner there's a lot of things that I see on Fur Affinity that you know artists aren't com like thanking the people that commissioned them for the art. They aren't thanking the people that give them the inspiration. So with that, you know, fire it back at you. You know, you guys push your art and uh, a lot of the people that give you the ideas, you don't thank. And I've even had some artists actually sit down in front of me, like beside me while I'm like telling people about my character and whatnot. And they'll draw up my character. And I shit you not. They'll sell it to me. And they'll even fucking draw their signature on there. Thanks for stealing my idea. But it's whatever. You know, that's just the way the world works. So everybody in this world is, you know, thankful for artists like you. And the artists should really be thankful for commissioners like us. 
anyway, um, name's Mix, and uh, take care.